Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn about how we can manage the services in system D. Back in drill, we used to use some of the very easiest commands service httpd restart and service httpd status to manage those services in rel 6 the same in rel 7 we are using the command system system ctl it's depend on the system d so we can see the commands it's sys system ctl hyphen hyphen type is equal to service so that we can get all the services which is currently running in this machine we can see there are two services which is kdump and rhnsd or hnsd service are failed those are failed to start so those are the uh, services running we can see from this command and we can get the information what is load active and so and the command sysctl system ctl list unit files hyphen hyphen type is equal to service this is same as similar to the chconfig hyphen hyphen list in rel6 we can see all the services which are installed and enabled in this machine whether it is running in state or is disabled we can get all the information for moving around the all the service we want to press the space bar to exit from the press q okay then system ctl status httpd the httpd service was there but it's it's not enabled the loaded it's loaded from the location user lib system d system httpd dot service but currently now it's disabled so i'm going to the location system d location user lib system d system httpd service the service was there so i'm going to start and while we look into the status we getting the sysctl status httpd output as the service http dot services HTT, the apache http server and loaded from the location user lib system d system and disabled the service was in disabled mode so that while the server reboots and coming up the service will not start in the boot so we need to enable that later and it's active and running how long it's running and how many seconds before it started the pit file of the http service and the c group so we are, we can see the c group later what the c group and what the use of c group so system ctl enable i'm going to enable the httpd enable this will enable the service httpd service it will make a link soft link from user lib system d to edc system d system multi user dot toggle so it's enabled for the third run level while this the this server rebooted and while it's booting up the httpd service will be automatically started the same this command the enable command is similar to the chconfig on chconfig httpd on so once we look into the location of uh, etc system d system multi user dot target there we can see all the services which are enabled for coming up while the server boot up okay like this we can find the services which are enabled for the services the server when it's coming up the enabled the, now we can see it's enabled because we have enabled the command by running sysctl enable httpd let me put the status so i'm going to stop the service now and run for the status 
sysctl stop httpd then i am looking for the status sysctl status httpd the status was stop it's not running now i am going to disable it so to disable a service we can use the command sysctl disable httpd there we can see it's enabled now i have disabled once we disable it will unlink the process from the multi user target just a soft link was created from the service directory to multi user target to run while the system comes up so let me list under the multi user target before we we can see able to see the http service but it's not there because we have disabled it this is not a permanent disable so if we well the status shows it's uh, disabled now we can check use one of the command is it active or not for that sysctl is hyphen enabled httpd service it's showing it's disabled because it was disabled by me and the above the status is also showing it's disabled so let me use the command system ctl mask httpd dot service so once i do the mask it will redirect to the dev null so what happened is you even though uh, it's not uh, if i try to enable or if i try to start the service nothing will happen see it's showing the operation was not supported because the service is completely removed the service is completely disabled so it's showing fail to issue method calls unit httpd services mask so to unmask I need to use the command system ctl on mask httpd so that it will again we can start the service let me start and check for the status so you can see it was now running and we can check using is enabled or not sys enabled will show whether it is enabled or not here it's showing disabled in the app there is a status loader showing also the service is running but it was disabled again let me enable it will link from the user lib system d system http service into multi user target the command system ctl list units will display all the available units in this machine we can choose any one of the units to load using the systemd management service command system cdl here we have seen how to manage the services using the systemd let we go towards the next chapter and learn more about the linux to preparing for the ex300 exam please subscribe thank you